Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn two awesome techniques regarding Power Query. The first one, what is the purpose of group by technique and how you can use group by. And then we will merge two different tables of data, actual versus budget, and we will look up for the budgeted values in the actual table. So let's get start. Uh, I have opened that file in Excel first to show you the how the data looks like and to give you a concept and then we will apply that into the Power BI. So in this particular Excel workbook, we have two sheets, actual and budget. In the actual sheet, we have uh, some records and there are four columns, month, category, product and actual sales. And in the budget sheet, we have again four columns month category product and budgeted sales so the first thing is you observe is that there are three transactions coming three times okay and what we are required to do is for example if i change this amount for the meantime okay so there are three transactions uh, the first three transactions related to the 1st of january 2015 uh, for the category beverages and the product is chai and that coming three times right through with three different actual sales numbers so what we are required to do is we want to group these three similar transactions into one record so the these are three records we want to make it just in uh, a one record and these three numbers will club or sum all together similarly one more example if you can see uh, the record number the fourth record and the fifth record which is related to the beverages of black tea and it's coming two times for example if I change the amount here so what I need to do is this is basically a repetitive uh, record and I want to group into one okay so these two amounts will be merged as one amount and we don't have two records we will have one record so in these kind of scenarios you use the group by technique okay similarly in the budget sheet you will see uh, two transactions or three transactions so you want to group by them and also after grouping we want that we want to fetch all the budgeted numbers with respect to their respective products and beverages and the month dates to come in the actual table so that we can compare actual versus budgeted sales okay so this technique will be done by the merging in power bi so let me save this file in Excel, but we will be doing the demonstration for surely in Power BI. So let me close this to the Power BI. So what we will do is we'll click on get data from Excel workbook. And this topic is PQ16 group by and we will select this Excel workbook. So it will take few seconds to read on the back end. OK, so now you can see that uh, we have two sheets in this particular workbook actual and budget but we want to get the data from the respective table so that is actual one and budget two table these two tables we will select and we will go all right so now we have the data in the power query editor right so first we will do the technique for group by technique to make the similar entire similar records into one so in the transform tab on the left side you you can see group by okay so just click on group by okay so a dialog window will be open of group by and you need to select advance here and then uh, we need to group uh, by three columns month category and product so month is already there by default we need to add two more groupings for uh, the category and also for the product so we have selected three columns based in a group by uh, the new column name will be let's say actual sales what kind of operation we are required to do for similar kind of record we want uh, that the actual sales should sum here you can also uh, do the average median min max or any other thing but here we will select for this particular scenario sum and which column from uh, the numbers are there we know that the actual sales is the column 
uh, in which the operation sum will be applied and a new column actual sales will be created uh, with the group by technique so i will press ok and now you can see that now the the three records are not coming uh, instead there is just one record of beverages chai and the amount has been totaled right similarly for the black tea you can see that those two amounts has been summed right so this is how you you use the group by technique for duplicate records and clubbing them into one uh, and you can define the operation similarly for the budget table i just click on budget table and click on group by technique from the transform tab click on advanced because we have more than one column for the grouping so we will select month category and product the new column name will be budget sales the operation we want to perform is sum and that column which contain the number is budget sales and press ok right now these two tables has been successfully grouped by now we want to create one more new table in which we will uh, basically uh, fetch actual and budgeted columns side by side okay so for doing that we will go to home tab and here uh, we will click on small arrow merge queries and we will click on merge queries as new okay so first uh, on top uh, this this side is called left side and down the line this side side is called right side okay so in this particular course other videos you will find the concepts of joins there are six different types of joins you can perform to fetch uh, the records between the two tables depending on what kind of a join kind you are applying uh, for here we will select first actual table then at the bottom we'll select budget table uh, because uh, the primary thing is that these three columns are the base columns so i have selected month category and product and you can see that a small number has been uh, generated on top right side of each of the header right so one two three one two three defines that the sequence in which i have selected these column and similarly i have to select the same sequence for the budgeted table why i am selecting these three columns because these three columns will look up from the actual table to the budgeted table and fetch the required column which we are which we want based on the join kind so we want left outer join uh, which means that all from the first this is the first table so all the records from the first table will match themselves from the second table and if that match so our required column outputs will come on the first table okay and at the bottom you can read the sentence it says that the selection matches 857 records of 858 draws from the first table okay uh, why not 858 out of 858 because that's definitely possible that uh, might be the we don't have that budget of particular product and it came into the actual table or uh, it didn't came into the actual but it, it's available in the budget so there is one record which is not available in 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 a single table that's why uh, it's not 858 out of 858 it's 857 okay so when i press okay so a new table will be formed so here you can see that uh, a new table on the left side which is called merge one you can just right click and rename if you want to uh, definitely when you create dashboard so it will help you to re uh, remember the name so you can rename that as well according to your feasibility uh, now you can see that there are five columns here month category product actual sales now we want to uh, here take the amount of the budgeted sales uh, figures right so click on this drop down menu and we just need to check mark the budgeted sales okay and uncheck everything else just budgeted sales and press ok so now you can see that uh, it's it's just a kind of uh, a conceptual side when you do something in microsoft excel called vlookup or index match you fetch the uh, 
values from different area based on lookup value if you use VLOOKUP or index match in Microsoft Excel. Similarly, the concept of merge based on a join kind does the same thing. When you, when you merge two tables, uh, you basically define the join kind either is left join or right join or or any other join based on your condition and you and you fetch that desired column from the other table so primarily primarily what we have done so far is that we have group by uh, technique has been applied because there were similar kind of records were there and we also fetch the budgeted sales in front of actual cell so that we can compare for each of the record right Okay, so these are the steps. Once you are done, you can just click on close and apply and that will go into your Power BI uh, area and then you can start making your dashboard. Thank you.